Studio Gainax is going into bankruptcy, but they are being picked up by Studio Kaharas, which adds their hand in a bunch of different things. So let's take a look and see what actually happened and what led to it and what's going to happen. So unfortunately, Studio Gainax, who did Evangelion Gurnlog and a bunch of other titles, has not really done anything since 2015, kind of 2018 era because they went into unfathomable amounts of debt between running a panty and stocking cafe and basically a bunch of scandals and basically losing the capacity to do different things. So let's take a look and see what happened. As you see here, Studio Gainax officially filed for ban bankruptcy May 29th in the Tokyo District Court. So in Gainax's statement, they said on Friday, they explained that the final financial situation has been worsening since 2012 since various factors including managing the panty and stocking cafe which was on kobe anime street uh this went from march or sorry correction february of 2016 to april of 2016 this was apparently a huge money black pit that they lost so much money on and it just backfired on them and they did not meet the protection projections mishandling and mismanages across the board and that led to massive debts done by the management they had to remove the production committees after not paying royalties they got sued into the crown for for debts and other matters while that was worsening affiliated companies under the guy next name in regional areas basically pull back and they're like mm, we're not we're not doing it because we can't even keep up with the capacity to animate stuff so we're, we're kind of done so basically guy gynax just kind of went downhill non-stop for a very long time so also with what happened with maki in 2019 the, the head that was known as maki was arrested for charges of basically forcing himself onto inspiring voice actresses and in 2020 he was uh convicted for two and a half years so all this stuff led to it so let me take a look at Karhara's statement which is the one that is basically adopting and bringing in Gainax's stuff so we don't lose anything you don't lose Ava you don't lose the money grabbing that is Ava you don't lose the money grabbing that is Gernwagen they also provided a statement on Friday stating that it is aware that Gainax is poor management and debt for a while, they have known about it, and the co-founder and Karhara president, Hidekai Ano, has expressed concerns in Gaimek and made a proposal to improve the company's management. But, they were not accepted for a very long time, and despite this, Karhara continued to accept proposals of Gaimek management and kept giving them supportive loans. To me, it looks like he's like, you won't take my ideas? Fine, you can keep owing me money, and I'll just eventually get you, which is kind of what happened. They also stated that the situation continued to worsen than Maki, which got arrested in 2019. Uh... Following that, uh, with the collaboration of Katokawa, King Records, and Studio Trigger to prevent the damage to the reputa reputation of Evangelion other works, they work together to give basically new board directors to Gainax. And they worked so hard to like try and understand and resolve this like thing of unpaid debts to the studios, to writers, to creators in the anime industry. But unfortunately, by the time the new animation like management got to it, it was too late and it was unfixable. So in order to ensure that creators, original authors and writers can continue to manage to produce their works in the future, Guy Max is going to be working with each production company to confirm, organize and transfer the rights to either companies or individuals they believe most suitable. Kahara is continuing to provide support to help alleviate the debts, but to which is not possible because how how much it is so car horror is basically taking over god x right now they um they acquired the trademark they are trying to distribute all the proper like people for the anime that they have done in the past which let's take a look at that because this is very kind of big and important that we do take a look at this also i just want to say wikipedia do be fast they kind of already updated this so uh they have done ava they've done gern Logan, corpse princess Stella Woman's Academy, High School Division C, which I see a lot with Boxer Chan. I've seen a lot of that. Medica Box, which was another big one that I ended up doing. Magica Wars, that was another one. He is my master, the ugly, this ugly yet beautiful world. They've, they did a lot. But obviously the biggest thing they've ever did was Ava. And the, unfortunately the last anime, like I was saying, they ever did was in 2015. And then we go into their films. I mean, they got Gunbuster versus Diebuster. And 
when you look here, the last movie they did was the Gurren Lagann movie, two-part series, in 2008, 2009. And then they were going to do Zero Century, a three-part movie thing. But it died. They canceled it. Now we go to OVAs. They did Masamune, but that was 2016 to 2018. And that's it. So ever since then, they had their hands a little bit here and there, but the decline of the company, the, un the ability to not be able to produce things kind of just shot it downhill. Now, what's my favorite thing out of this? I think it's going to be Gurren Lagann. It's a tie between Gurren Lagann and Panty Stocking. I really like Ava, but it's those two. Gurren Lagann, like, I skipped th college classes to go and sit in a parking lot. Like, I was at college to go to class, and I'm like, this is getting really good. I'm just going to sit in my truck and finish watching this. Like, it, it, it had that kind of effect on me. So, unfortunately, like I said, the company is going bankrupt, but due to Kahara being able to basically push it off, they took control and they're figuring everything out so that I mean that's a plus so i want to know your thoughts and opinion on this do you think this could have been prevented do you think there was groundwork to you know stop a lot of this stuff i mean you know minus the someone pushing himself onto inspiring voice actors that would have been a nice big like thing to not happen but like i said before we are lucky that one of the co-founders and an, uh, the founder of another anime studio with a bunch of like, collaborations with katakawa studio trigger and all this stuff to prevent basically damage to Ava they are spreading out all the work to across the board so let me know what you guys think down below I'm going to link the article to the anime news network down below in the comments um not in the comments in the in that little box down there the description box whatever you want to call it let me know what you think love you all appreciate you all and I will see you all later Bye bye <laughs>